Welcome back to the next episode of AutoCraft. I hope that you guys had a wonderful Christmas. You got everything that you wanted and that you're ready for today's episode. Because today we're going to focus on a whole bunch of things. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to show a clip of me opening my present on Christmas morning. I was so excited. Thanks, Alex. It is time to open our gift, which it looks like we got a sweet, sweet, oh, there's a shulker, pile of coal with a shulker underneath. So it's my name. I get a milk cookies. Well, that was fun. I thought it was just going to be coal, but it was all of this stuff here. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what this stuff entails. So first he gave us a whole bunch of TNT, a block of netherite, so that's nine netherite ingots, which is incredible in itself. 10 blocks of diamonds, which I didn't realize when I first opened it that that was 10 blocks of diamonds, that's 90 diamonds. A bunch of rockets, a bunch of food, incredible. Then he gave us a shulker of glass, which is great because I honestly hate going out and mining deserts and getting a bunch of glass. And I'm definitely going to take advantage of using that. And last but not least, he kind of pulled a funny trick on us and gave us an entire shulker of milk. Why milk? Right? That was the, the first question that I asked myself. Well, Alex has this thing where he likes to just randomly eat cereal. And I happened to mention to him that I'm not a big cereal person because I don't really like milk. So, of course, what does he do but give me a shulker of milk? <laughs> Thanks, Alex. I really love the gift. I appreciate it. So, I've been quite busy, actually, over the holidays because I've been off work and I've had some time to actually start planning things out. So, let's start off here, actually, before we go home. A couple things have happened. So, first, I have made a trip over here to this bee. And I have left Mechanic a little book here. I, I didn't want to turn it. I wanted the book. It says, for the Mechanic, Hello, I am interested in helping secure Roger's safety. Please reach out when you would like to discuss. Boss. Let's turn that back to normal. So this is Roger, the bee, the busy bee. And Mechanic and I had a conversation a while back that... Uh, he doesn't know what he's going to do with Roger once he leaves the shopping district. So um, I am interested in paying to assist Roger in escaping Jason. So mechanic, reach out when you get back. I know that you're with family doing some uh, fun Christmas stuff. So we will chat then. Next, I want to talk about the Club of Diamonds because I happened to log in and check it the other day. And Clumsy had a sale here for 50 diamonds for two shulkers of blackstone. So, of course, I provided. And I got myself a nice little 50 diamonds out of that deal. Can't really go wrong there, you know. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head back to my base. I'm not going to make you watch me. Um, but I have planned out a couple different things. And I want to talk a little bit about that. And then get started on the uh, the meat of today's episode, if you will, right? We've, we've talked about some of the veggies. Uh, we might have a couple sides later on, but it's time to get to the meat. So let's get over there. Here we are on the top of the mob farm. And I want to just overlook something that I did the other day, right? So if we take a look here... You can see that there is a giant half-rendered blue circle surrounding basically my entire area, right? All of this underneath the uh, mob farm is technically mine-ish up to a certain point. Uh, we also hit no man's land between me and Iron and Bash who are on that side. But this circle basically is going to represent the village that I'm going to be building. So... I'm going to need to start working on this kind of ASAP. There's going to be a lot of uh, terraforming 
that goes into this. There's gonna be a lot of random builds, but basically what I wanna do is instead of just building a really boring villager trading hall, right? I'm gonna build different houses for each different type of villager, and it's all gonna be centraled around this. Centraled. No. Centraled is not the right word. Uh, centered around this theme that the overlord or whatever lives in this tower, which has yet to be built. That's my house, right? I'm, I'm the village overlord, of course. When I stand right here, it just looks like I'm floating on nothing. It's honestly quite interesting. Anyways, uh, and then there's going to be this cult, right, right there in the background, of uh, worshipers of this sheep god, right? And so basically it's me versus the cult of sheep worshipers. And then there's a bustling village that surrounds all of it. Right, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with the starter house yet. I think I might turn that into a church, uh, basically rebuild it up there, uh, change the colors, obviously get rid of the magenta, things like that. But I haven't fully decided yet, right? I may just leave it there as, as a house because there's gonna be just random houses within the village. But yeah, that's kind of the, uh, the goal here. So if we take a quick lap, okay, hitting the wrong button, around the circle just so you can see how absolutely massive this area is i mean there's just so much but i'm really excited for it it's going to definitely be a project that takes us many many weeks episodes hey creeper What's up, bruh? You get worked, son. Uh, many weeks, many episodes. Another creeper. Stop interrupting me. And hopefully, at the end of it, it's going to look incredible, be incredible, and I'm excited for it. We also have the base plates of our last two giant bowls as people have been referring to them. So those are going to get started being built. I'm probably gonna build one of them today and then one of them next week, or I might skip a week in between, I haven't decided. But one of them is going to be a tree farm. I've already decided I believe it's gonna be that one. Right, and so we're gonna use some TNT and boom, tree logs, right? And then this one I believe is going to be a sugarcane farm. So both of those are pretty massive to get good rates out of them. Well, the tree farm's massive because you have to create this giant redstone monstrosity thing. And then the sugarcane has to be pretty massive to keep up with demand. So yeah, that's what we're going to be working on today. The last piece that I want to show you before we get into any of that is my floor. Between episodes... I've placed ridiculous amounts of glass. I think I used, I don't know, seven shulkers of glass to fill this in and get this foggy effect, right? So you can kind of see, I put some black concrete in here and I just don't really know how I want to cover up that beacon. It works great up until this point with the gray glass and then you get the line and drives me a little bit nuts. So I might change that in the future, but for now I'm going to leave it. These guys won't stay here. They just need a house to move into. So they're kind of in the pathway right now. But I, I went with these little like pathway defining areas. Each corner has a crafting table in it, right? So I'm kind of excited with how it turned out. And also, we still have Christmas chests, I just realized. Yeah, I'm still kind of upset about that, that you can't paint chests, right? I should be able to walk up to one of these chests, right click it, with dye in my hand, right, and paint it. Bam, bam. I want these to be black, I want these to be white, I want these to be yellow, red, right, that would be cool. So with that, I believe that that is everything that I wanted to catch you up on, and we should probably start building. Um, I wanna do it in two kind of broken time lapses, right, I'm gonna build the bowl, and then I'm going to do some other stuff, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna build the farm above it.
right? That way we don't have to do one really long time lapse. And anyway, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started on the bowl. Oh, I missed it. I'm going to get started on the bowl first. So let's hop into the time lapse and I'll see you guys on the other side of it. Just like that, our third bowl is completed. I didn't fill the uh, interior with water yet. I'll do that off camera. It's one of those boring things that you don't need to watch. But yeah, um, I'm happy with it. I also, if you hadn't noticed, changed all of the iron blocks that I'd been previously using to these quartz bricks. So all three farms are now matching. All right, well, let's take a break from building, and what we're going to go do is we're actually going to go celebrate the new year, uh, or the end of a year, I think is more how this year should be celebrated, but we are going to meet up with a couple other people on the server. Uh, I believe Bash, Zame, and Alex will all be there. We're going to light some fireworks off in the shopping district and kind of celebrate the end of 2020 and welcome 2021. You see that creeper there? I saw the creeper there. Get out of there. Anyone else? So yeah, let's go meet up with them in the shopping district and I will bring you guys back to build the farm once we're completed with the celebrations. Well, that was really fun recording those fireworks. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And uh, making the fireworks, by the way, it sucks. Honestly, if you never made fireworks, it sucks. You gotta make them all like super slow. You gotta create the actual like boom, boom, explodey bit. And then you gotta add in more gunpowder. It's just, it's honestly a mess. But the end result, it was worth it. So now we gotta focus on up there. Right, we gotta build a farm. I've gathered all the materials I believe that I'll need. Um, I brought extra just in case I needed more. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm pretty sure that I have everything that I need. And we are going to be building a TNT tree farm. So I am not 100% sure how this farm works because I have never ever built a TNT tree farm. But I spend more diamonds than I care to admit on uh, wood during this season so far. Uh, literally hundreds of diamonds. I think I've bought seven or eight shulkers from Zame. Uh, I just recently bought a couple shulkers from Death Dealer. So, yeah, I'm going to get working on this tree farm. And hopefully this will solve the problem of spending too many diamonds on wood. So let's get into the next time lapse. And I hope you guys enjoy it.
Well, we're done. And I believe after some testing that it works. I already found one mistake uh, that I fixed. Oh my gosh. That's nutty. One, two, three, four times nine, 36. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 and a half stacks of logs. So 90, 135, 136 and a half stacks of logs in an hour. Uh, let's see, 45.5 times three. Yep, 136.5 times 64. So we're at about 8,700 logs an hour. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. If you liked it, please like it. Like, click the like button. Subscribe, do all those fancy things. Um, I did notice, and I've noticed in a lot of videos that I've watched recently, that YouTube is sometimes randomly unsubscribing. So even if you are subscribed, and you want to stay subscribed, please make sure that you are still subscribed because I don't know why YouTube does that. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm really happy that we completed our third bowl and our third farm. And now we don't have to pay for wood anymore. It's so exciting. But yeah, we'll catch you guys next week and hope you enjoyed. Bye.